So tonight, Buffalo is getting serious about parking tickets. You will now have to pay a little bit more if you're caught in the wrong spot at the wrong time. But authorities say that they're also creating more parking options to help businesses in the city. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin is live in Buffalo. Liz, why the increase? That's absolutely right, Keith and Ashley. If you're driving around the city of Buffalo looking for parking, you might want to start paying closer attention to parking meters like these or other ones throughout the city, or you might end up paying more than you planned on. I think they're just moving to, they're looking for traffic to move a lot more efficiently and smoothly, and I really don't have a problem with that. It's been 15 years since the city of Buffalo jacked up parking fines, and Todd Matina says he has no problem with the city getting tougher on people who don't pay their tickets. The Common Council has approved Mayor Byron Brown's request to increase fees for parking violations. $30 fees you get for not feeding the meter are now $40. $35 fees for parking in no parking zones become 40. Illegal parking in a handicap spot becomes an $80 fine, and late fees go up by 10 bucks. Parking Commissioner Kevin Helfer says this decision is consistent with the momentum of the city. Almost all of your parking at the paid meters is a two-hour time limit, and that's the compliance we want. It's meant for short-term parking, the person going to the store, the person going to the restaurant. And what we're hearing from all the merchants and the owners is keep that turnover going so that there's places to park for my customers. But not all business owners agree. Kevin Brinkworth owns the 727 Elmwood Avenue restaurant in the Elmwood Village and says the maximum meter limit doesn't match the average dining time for his customers and an increase in fees may hurt his business and potentially others. We should have some times, whether it is an hour in the morning or an hour in the late evening, where people can park for free to come and walk around the Elmwood Village, visit restaurants, visit shops, and just create additional commerce. Helfer says the decision to increase fees was a community decision that took over a decade to finalize and now puts Buffalo in line with cities like Rochester and Syracuse. And if you're wondering what the city plans to do with this new additional revenue, Commissioner Helfer says the uh, expected $1 million will go right back into the city's development. I also spoke with Councilman Joel Ferraletto earlier today, and he says the new fees are expected to go into place within the next two to four weeks. Live in downtown Buffalo, Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News.